It's come down to this, the final chapter of A New Home 2. <sighs> Morning arrived as Celestia stood outside the Ponyville General Hospital and raised her son. She closed her eyes softly and allowed her silent tear to cascade down her cheek as she whispered to herself, Please let my precious little nephew be okay. She took a deep breath as of the fresh morning air and turned and trot back into the hospital's lobby. Every pony stayed overnight as the hospital, at the hospital not wanting to leave, just in case there were any updates about Toby's condition. A soft and warm smile crept across Celestia's face as she looked upon her ponies at, as the nurse came trotting in. Celestia gave Nurse Redheart a warm smile and looked at the others sleeping peacefully. Wake up, my little ponies, she spoke of a usual soft mo motherly tone. The group slowly blink blinked their eyes open and immediately shot awake when they saw Nurse Redheart. Fluttershy trotted up to her with a look of deep concern. How's to Toby, Nurse Redheart? Is he okay? She bit her lower lip nervously. Nurse Redheart gently placed a hoof on a deeply concerned Pegasus's shoulder and gave her a warm smile for nod. Yes, Fluttershy, he's doing fine. However, he was very weak when you brought him in and de dehydrated. We gave him some fluids and he's sleeping right now. If you'd like to go back and see him, though, it'd be okay. She gave Fluttershy and the others a warm smile. I'll go get the fillies and Spike. I'm sure they'll be happy to know that Toby's okay. Give Diamond two or more lines, Twilight smiled as she teleported in a flash out of the hospital. A smile of re relief crept across Fluttershy's face as she wrapped her forelegs around Nurse Redheart's neck. Thank you, Nurse Redheart, for saving my precious little Toby. She began shaking with sobs of joy, and she let her tears flow freely down her cheeks. Nurse Redheart reached up and rubbed up and down Fluttershy's back soothingly. There's nothing to thank me, dear. No need to thank me, dear. She looked at the others with a warm smile as she patted Fluttershy's back before breaking the hug. Follow me. I'll show you to his room. She turned to trot ahead as the others followed. Upon entering the room, Fluttershy saw her son sleeping peacefully as, she, as he lay on his back and his chest slowly rising and falling. She carefully trotted up to the side of the hospital bed, sat down on her haunches, and reached a hoof up to place on a small hand. A tearful smile was etched on her face as she leaned her head and gave him a gentle kiss on the, on his, on the forehead. The others had tearful smiles out of their own, and as they carefully trotted in, and sat down on their haunches around the bed. Nurse Redheart gave the child a warm smile as she came trotting in from the doorway. He's such a precious little colt. I don't understand why some pony would do this to such a, such a young, innocent child. Well, she's rotten in hell now. So Her smile turned into a frown. Celestia nodded. I know my little pony. Yet, it was Queen Chrysalis who does this to our precious little nephew. Nurse Redheart gasped at hearing the changeling queen's name, but Celestia waved a hoof. Don't worry, though, Nurse Redheart. My sister and I gave her the rightful punishment she deserves. Not good enough, in my opinion. Luna and the others nodded in agreement. Crystal's a badass, but... That was uncalled for, this whole damn thing! M mama A small voice of Toby spoke as he very slowly started to blink his eyes open. Fluttershy immediately stood up on all fours, lifted a foreleg up to lay over a small, and leaned her head to give him a nuzzle on the cheek. Mama's here, sweetie! She gave a warm smile as he opened his eyes. Tears stung his eyes as he reached up and wrapped his little arms around her neck tightly. Mama! He cried out loud happily and started to cry into her shoulder and stood up in his bed. Fluttershy carefully climbed up onto the edge of the bed, wrapped her forelegs around, gently around him, and stroked up and down his back. Shh! It's okay, my baby boy. Mama's here. Shh! Nurse Redheart wiped her tear-stained eyes with a floor up as she looked up at Princess Celestia and whispered, I'll just leave you all while I go get the papers to get signed for him, for him to be released. Really? I mean, I'm sure he wants to get home, but... He was drained of nearly half his love. I thought you would just want to keep him for a while. Celestia gave her a silent nod and warm smile as Nurse Redheart trotted out the door. Flourish I held Toby close to her as she continued to cry into her shoulder, shaking with sobs of joy to finally be re reunited with his mom. She stroked along his back with her foreleg and gave him a tender kiss on top of his head. She very carefully lifted him up from underneath his legs, picking him up from the bed, and Jilly sat him on her lap, in her lap to let him rest in the crook of her foreleg. After several minutes of releasing his tears and crying into his mom's shoulder, Toby lifted his head to look up into the, to her sky blue eyes, sniffling. Oh, Mama, I missed you so much. I love you. Fluttershy tearfully, smiled tearfully as she kissed him gently in the forehead. Oh, my baby boy. Mama missed you so much, too. Mama loves you, and I will never, ever let anything bad happen to you again. She stroked along his side as he sat in her lap. He sniffled, let out a heavy sigh, and looked up at her, then around the others. Mama, aunties, I'm so sorry for you getting hurt because of me. He lowered his head sadly. I wanted to help, but I was too weak, too small, and you all got hurt because of me. He started shaking with sobs once again. The others frowned at him, but Luna carefully trotted up to her mom and son. She leaned her head down and nuzzled at his cheek. No, dear Toby. 
Do not blame yourself, my sweet little nephew. She gave him a reassuring smile. Princess is right, Sugar Cube. Applejack spoke up as she gave him a soft smile. You are just being used as a pawn in that rotten vermin's plan to try and take over Equestria. She's a full-grown mare, little feller, and she thought you was an easy target in being a young child. Birdie nodded in agreement. Applejack is absolutely right, darling. That ruffian of a queen showed nothing but weakness when she had you locked in them awful and heavy chains and shackles. Her lips pursed with anger at the memory of seeing her little nephew in that position. She let out a deep sigh. But you showed great strength, Toby, because you never let her corrupt your heart. She gave him a warm smile. Toby gave a light smile and turned to look up at the two royal sisters. Auntie Luna? Auntie Celestia? Why was Queen Chrysalis so mean? She has data issues. He looked at them curiously, but with a frown. Celestia stepped forward and sat down on her haunches, looking at the small child in the flourish lap. Well, my dear little nephew, Chrysalis is a mystery to us all. The only thing we know of her is that her and her children are changelings thrive on love from other ponies in which they feed off of. She let out a heavy sigh. Toby nodded sadly. He looked up and looked up into his mom's eyes. Mama, where's Auntie Twilight? Getting diamond tiara, cause she's in the story. Not very much, but she's in there. <laughs> <laughs> he was curiously. Out of nowhere, a flash of light occurred, and Twilight, along with the Phillies, Spike, and Cadence, appeared in the hospital room. Hey, Spike! How'd you like going to the Crystal Empire again? Oh, wait! <laughs> Gah. Did some pony ask for me? She giggled and trotted over to Toby, nuzzling him on his cheek. It's good to see that you're doing better, sweetheart. He reached up and hugged around her neck. Auntie Twilight! He said happily as he sat in his mom's lap. Twilight reached up and patted him on the back. Hello, dear. I brought you some special guests, too. She giggled and stepped aside to reveal the fillies and Spike. Toby smiled happily. Big sisters and Uncle Spike! What about Papa Big Mac? They came up to him and swallowed him in a big group hug. The adults smiled warmly at the young ones. After they broke the embrace, the CMCs looked at their little brother with frowns upon their faces. Toby looked at them concerned. What's wrong, big sisters? Applebloom stared at the, started for the three. Well, little buddy, for what we did and learned you to that slimy rotten excuse for a pony, we just want to say. She looked at the other. She looked at the other two. Well, I'm sorry, Toby. They stood all together, lowering their heads in shame. Toby frowned. Big sisters, please don't be sad. You didn't do anything wrong. Queen Chrysalis used you like she done me. Ha, <laughs> she done me. Oh, man. He reached forward to give Apple Bloom a hug around her neck, and the other two joined in. I love you, my big sisters. They each, they each gave a tearful smile and nuzzled him. We love you too, little brother. The others dawed at, at the four as they broke the hug as Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon trotted up. Diamond Tiara, talk forever. Silver Spoon leaned in and gave him a gentle kiss on the cheek. Ew. Hello, sweetie pie. I'm glad you're doing better, Toby. I was so worried about you. She gave him a warm smile and reached up to lightly touch his hand. He blushed at the kiss. Thank you, Silver Spoon. I'm okay now, so you don't have to worry about me anymore. He leaned, he leaned and gave her a soft kiss on her cheek. Fuck that! I'm sorry. Silver Spoon blushed at the kiss and trotted to the side. Diamond Tiara reached up with a hoof to place gently on his shoulder and pulled him in close to her in a hug. I'm glad you're okay too, little guy. No pony deserves that kind of treatment, especially one as sweet as you, Toby. She broke the hug and trotted over to join the others. Toby smiled as he turned to see Cadence. Auntie Cadence! She trotted up to him and nuzzled the top of his head. Hello, sweetheart. Your Uncle Shining wanted me to give you his best wishes. He's dead. <laughs> what? She gave him a warm smile and patted his lap jelly with a hug. He nodded and gave her a hug around her neck. Thank you for coming, Auntie Cadence. I love you. Tongue oh, Uncle Shining, I love him too when you get back home. She reached up and patted him on the back with a hoof. Of course, dear. I'm just glad you're doing better. And don't worry, I will tell Shining that his nephew does love him. She gently broke the hug as he trotted She trotted off to the side. Celestia smiled warmly at the child, but a look of concern and curiosity crept across her face. Toby, dear, I want to ask you something. Is that okay? She laid down on all fours as every pony else did. He looked at her worriedly. Yes, you can, Auntie Celestia. Is something wrong? The concern of his voice earned him a little gentle shake of the head from Celestia. Oh no, my dear nephew, there's nothing wrong at all. She gave him a warm smile. However, though, I wanted to ask you, when Chrysalis told you that you witnessed the truth when she chained me and Luna up, what did she mean? A look of fear came upon the small child's face as he looked up at Celestia and Luna, around at the others, and finally up to the eyes of his mother. Flourish had looked down concerned for her son and pulled him close to her, rubbing it aside. He looked up at her and curled up closer into her in the crook of her foreleg, letting out a heavy sigh. Well, 
Queen Chrysalis showed me a dreamscape and... and... He shouted in fear of telling the rest and turned his head, burying his face in fl into Fluttershy's shoulders, shaking with sobs of sadness. The others looked on with frowns, but Luna carefully approached Toby. My dear nephew, please don't be afraid. Here, let me try something. I promise it won't hurt. He turned his head to look at her and sadly nodded, tears streaming down his cheeks. Luna allowed a single tear to fall from her eyes. She leaned her head to him and touched her forehead with her horn, his forehead with her horn, lighting it up. With her magic, Luna surrounded every pony of her warm blue aura, and the environment around them slowly turned to pitch black. After a few seconds, the environment started to ripple. Oh god, there's a song coming down, and it turned into the same dreamscape in which Chrysalis created the show Toby. After several minutes, every pony looked at Toby as he had a look of fear on his face. Fluttershy hugged him tight and wrapped both her forelegs and wings around her, his trembling form. She laid her head over his and kissed the top of his head. He let out a heavy, heavy sigh as Fluttershy gently uncovered at him after a few moments in their embrace. He smiled up softer as she allowed his tears to continue to stream down his face, and he carefully climbed off her lap. He looked down around at the others and carefully walked to the window of the hospital room and looked out at Celestia's sun filling up the afternoon sky. Fluttershy carefully trotted close to him. Toby, sweetie. What's wrong? She looked worriedly at her son with a deep breath. Toby began to sing with a soft, warm tone. Brian fucking Adams, yes! I hear the wind across the plain. A sound so strong that calls my name. It's like wild like the river, it's warm like the sun. Yeah, it's here, this is where I belong. Under the starry skies, where evil eagles have flown. This place is paradise, it's the place I call home. The moon on the mountains, the whisper through the trees, the waves on the water, let nothing come between this and me. Cause everything I want is everything that's here. And the way we're all together, there's nothing to fear. Ooh. And whenever I wonder, the one thing I've learned, yeah. It's to hear I will always, always return. That was awful. <laughs> After he got done singing, every pony couldn't keep their tears at bay any longer, and he immediately wrapped his arms tightly around Fluttershy's neck and laid his head against her chest fur. The others joined the two in giving them a big warm hug, along with the three other princesses. Deep within his heart, Toby knew that the dreamscape Crystal showed him was a lie. He knew that his family loved him with all their hearts, even if he wasn't a pony. He knew that with his family and his new home of Equestria is where he does belong. During the night, Toby was asleep peacefully in Fluttershy's bed. He was awoken to the sound of light whimpering, sound coming from downstairs. He quickly yet carefully climbed out of bed and went downstairs to see his mom stirring in her sleep. A look of deep concern crept across his face as he walked over to see what was wrong. He placed his little hands on her shoulder and very carefully nudged her. Mama? Mama, please wake up. He frowned at seeing his mom whimpering in her sleep. After nudging a couple more times, Fluttershy shot, shot awake, panting heavily. She looked down to see her son with his little hands on her foreleg. Jelly picked him up in a warm embrace. Oh, my baby boy, you are safe. She laid her head on his shoulder, and he wrapped his arms around her neck. Toby felt his heart break at seeing his mom like this. Yes, Mama, I'm okay. He lifted his head up to try and look into her eyes. What's, ma what's, what's wrong, Mama? Why are you crying in your sleep? He reached up to wipe away a straight tear on, his, on, his, on her cheek. She let, let out a very soft giggle as she saw her son wipe away her tear and gave him a soft kiss on his forehead. I had a bad dream, sweetie. I thought I'd lost you forever.